Hey guys, it's Pixelate here and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into anything, I want to say thank you for all of the love and support on yesterday's video. I really got to just stop this chair from spinning because it's getting annoying. But thank you guys so much for all the love and support on yesterday's video with face cam. I've done face cam several times. Those of you who are my OG viewers, my OG subscribers, you guys already know this. You've seen my face a million times. I do like every couple of months, I'll show my face like once or twice. But this was really truly the first time that I've ever shown my face and really focused more on just being myself and showcasing my personality versus, you know, showing my face and trying to be professional about it. So this was definitely very different for me. So I want to thank you guys so much for bearing with me and saying nice things. I am in the process of getting a green screen. I know I'd, I'm going to fix all this. Okay. I'm going to, I promise this, you're not going to be seeing this huge ass bed and boxes and mess and wires, and you're not going to be seeing that anymore. So soon I'll have a green screen. I'm working on getting studio lights like the um, Elgato key lights. I'm going to see. It's just going to look so much better. It's going to be so much more professional. I'm also going to work on getting my hair cut. I'm going to get that fixed. Today's video is going to be kind of similar to one of the last videos, except this is most likely going to be a mod overview instead of a mod news video because this mod is actually out. Now, here's the thing is I don't know if it's out for public access yet. I think that it's just early access Patreon. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to review it today, but we're going to be talking about the new Slice of Life update. Now, here's the thing. I've been wanting to do Slice of Life for a long time. I've even wanted to make a video on the whole Slice of Life mod, but every time that I'm about to do it, there's like a new Slice of Life update that comes out and I end up never doing it. So I feel like now we need to start. I don't know when I'm going to do like the Slice of Life in general, like the whole mod, but today is going to be one of the most recent updates to come. This was an update that was posted yesterday. Let me check and make sure I'm right. Yes, yesterday, Friday, August 28th at 7.53 p.m. Kwai Stacy tweets, The Sims 4 Slice of Life mod version 4.6. Do makeup, put on perfume slash cologne, meet toxic people, put on face masks, more personality, call kids to bed, practice proposing, etc. Update notes plus download. Wait a minute, so maybe this is available for free download. Let me check because it's very possible possible that that is a thing. Oh, I'm getting a bunch of pop-up ads. Let me just X out of all of this. <laughs> oh, wow. There is a lot to this. So I'm going to go ahead and read it off for you. Slice of life update 4.6. Skincare system and body system. The body system no longer focuses on body image. Instead, it focuses on being insecure in general. It got an overall overhaul. Insecure and sad sims can ask for reassurance in their relationship added Q effects and animation when doing skincare. That's really cool. You can buy physical masks in build and buy mode or the skincare menu. You can choose a stylish mask to relax and style. No animation. You can now put on perfume. It will help with building relationships and Sims will react. That's awesome. There's a new interaction that lets you smell someone's perfume slash cologne and even compliment it if they are wearing it, of course. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm going to move a little bit closer just so you guys can hear me a little bit better. I've also zoomed out my camera a little bit more so it's a little more wide angle. Sorry about the mess over there yet once again. Yeah, I need to get that fixed. I still haven't cleaned my room. I like completely set up my gaming setup when I got my new desk and ever since I got my computer all set up, I haven't done anything else. I've just been on my computer like normal. Are you guys like that too? You just like procrastinate when it comes to cleaning and you only clean like what's essential, what you know you need to get done. I was like, let me get my gaming area set up and then when I'm done, fixing up my gaming area then I'm gonna go and clean the rest of my room and I never clean the rest of my room it's literally been like that for like four days it's disgusting. You can now put on makeup, which helps build relationships faster. Putting on makeup also increases the painting skill. There is a chance of bad makeup the lower your painting skill is. Oh God. When you're wearing messed up makeup, people will laugh and take photos of you. You can fix it in the mirror. Showers and baths remove all makeup and non-stylish masks. There's a new makeup book made by Bella Goth called The Art of Makeup to help your skill. It can be found by purchasing from the bookstore. 
and there are two new interactions shown in this next picture put on perfume and put on makeup this is so cool guys it's just like as much as i'm excited for this right as much as i'm happy that this mod is coming and you know other mods like it it also still makes me sad that ea is not giving us these kinds of things what is going on why is ea giving us star wars and all of these other things that no one has asked for when we still don't have core gameplay like this family gameplay too like where is the generations type gameplay that was one of the highest selling expansion packs from the sims 3 and even if we never get generations for the sims 4 can we at least get stuff like it like can our sims at least have the ability to graduate high school because it's ridiculous that they don't graduate high school but they can graduate college and get a degree like why can't my sims get a high school diploma first yes i know that's not how it works in every country of the world but you'd think that they would make it based off of a united states system since most of the game panders to united states players the game is very american it is legit an american simulator anyways now that my rant is over there's a modern makeup kit that can be live dragged stored in inventory and it is functional if a cc creator wants to recolor it for me for a future update please contact me slice of life 4.6 new beauty system preview Ooh, so they have a video on it let's watch this let's see what this is all about it's a minute and 41 seconds laughing at her messed up makeup why is she smiling about it though <laughs> i wouldn't be smiling i'd be pissed <laughs> i would have went over there and beat the crap out of this girl we're talking so much smack fixing her messed up makeup that's cute did she really make new animations if so that is really cool giving her a high painting skill through mc cheats higher skill equals better results i like the music putting on perfume. <gasps> That is so cool. Is that a new animation? I've never seen that. It's probably already in the game and I'm just stupid and have never seen it. But if so, that is really awesome. Low skill level has small chance of being good. So when you think about it, to put on makeup, you really need to have a good skill or else most likely it's gonna come out wrong. So men can put on cologne, of course. Sims around you will notice it. Good, they better notice it because when you put on cologne, that's like the first thing that you notice with someone is the way they smell. Some people don't wear cologne and they come up to you smelling like hot garbage it's not good makeup kit and mask are functional that's good choose from over 20 masks wow that is so cool should this build wellness skill yeah definitely up next drama system <laughs> <laughs> Children can be bullied again, except they won't get text. Just a sad moodlet. Children slash teens can confess to being bullied, and the sim of choice will go to the school to address it. While the parent slash caregiver is dealing with it, the bullied moodlet will eventually go away. This can happen autonomously, but you can manually do it yourself as well. Personality system. This system has had a big update, adding so much personality in randomness to your game. Children will now act like children by being extremely annoying. I apologize in advance. They can play with imaginary toys like my brother who had wrestling matches with his hands as a child. They will now be loud, silly, and annoying for as much attention as possible. And that's accurate. That's literally how kids are in real life. I don't blame her for putting that in the game. I think that's genius actually. Teens will now be more like teens. Good. This should have been come to the game via EA, but we knew that wasn't happening. They will act a little goofy sometimes and other times you will see them practicing how to kiss or flirt in the mirror. For those of you who love the outdoors, you can play with butterflies, have an encounter with bees and also an encounter with bats. What? That is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. This is literally like an expansion pack. Like Kawhi Stacy legit just made an expansion pack for us. Legit for free. That is so freaking cool. Look at her. She acting dumb as hell. Good, fall on your ass. That's what you get for acting dumb as hell. <laughs> 30 plus types of these interactions added. Autonomy depends on age, traits, time, slash season, and date. Autonomy means your sims will do it on their own. Are you truly in love? Ready for the next step? Well, you might want to practice before you actually pop the question. Is your house gross? Are you tired of doing all the cleaning? Call your household down and make them clean up for once. Are the kids still up? Is your teenager talking loud on the phone? Call them to bed. Finally, you can have some peace and quiet. Children can really get toys now if they beg for them, but it's going to cost you. That is so cool. So you can call every 
everyone to go to bed, call kids to bed, call household to clean, add to favorites, put someone to bed, call kids to bed. I love that. That's so cool. In my future, I see a really happy child. That child is playing happily with her new toys. That child can become me. And it's all up to you, pretty lady. Okay, sure. Pay 20 simoleons or say no. That is so cool. That's so realistic because anyone that has kids, I don't have kids. I don't even know why I'm saying this, but anyone that has kids, I'm around them a lot. So I know they beg you for things. They will beg you for toys. They will beg you for attention. They beg you for everything. When I was a kid, I was one of those kids that begged my mom for stuff at the store. I was like, please, please, please. And then my mom was like, put it back. Yep, that's what happened. But basically, yes, I like how that's possible. The point is, if you think your game is glitching, you're probably wrong. It's just your Sims new personality interactions. Oh, up next, toxic Sims. Sims can now become toxic. This is based 90% on the bad traits, evil, mean, etc. But there's a 2% chance that any other Sim can become toxic as well. Toxic Sims will make rude comments to you and make your Sim feel sad and upset. So it's best to leave that friendship, relationship, or avoid avoid that family member. However, toxic sims won't always be toxic. They can become normal, but there's a chance they will become toxic again. Sounds real and definitely correlates to real life. So we have notification here. Brooke says you always act like you're so happy. Are you really that happy though? That is petty. Imagine taking the giant crap on someone's happiness. What a freaking B word. I know I want to curse so bad, but I don't want to get demonetized. Rent is due tomorrow. I added this because most relationships slash friendships always go perfectly. You can always remove slash prevent toxicness on a sim. Pick Kiana's personality type, personality modifier, and then prevent slash remove toxicness. And look, it's a poop emoji. <laughs> Here are the new mirror interactions. So of course we have boost confidence, fix makeup, practice flirting, practice kissing, and practice proposing all that sweet. Smaller system, I added a very, very, very small adjustment to height so that your teens and adults can have a difference without messing with animations. In my opinion, it's very subtle. Even if it's subtle, it helps. Anything helps. Slice of Life mod folder now has two scripts, skincare and personality, slice of life drunk system, interactive NPC system, menstrual cycle, party system, phone system, self woohoo system, sickness system, drama system, original overlays, skincare system, health and beauty, smaller systems, and SOL personality system. I love that. This is so cool. I didn't mention all the fixes, details, and changes I made because I had so many features to announce and because my laptop is now broken. So I was left with the last time my laptop's data was backed up onto my OneDrive, which means I had to start over on some parts of Slice of Life and also with other mods. The worst damage was done to the memorable events mod, which is now missing 25% of changes slash fixes I made. Oh, so please let me know if you see any past errors that appear in versions of the mod. Okay, that's really awesome. Download now. A lot has been added, so please note that some things may have to be adjusted in the next update. Oh my god, is this really available to download for free? It was updated seven hours ago. Slice of life. Oh my god, close the ad. Stop popping up on me. <laughs> oh my god, it's available guys. It's available. But if I did an overview in this video, this would easily be like over 40 minutes long. Do you want me to separate this up into a separate video? Because I just can't upload a super long video because the attention spans are not very good and view duration is never really high on my channel. So I'm afraid to make a video that's like 40 minutes. So if you want, I can just call this the mod news video just so you guys are aware of the mod and this is kind of like the online overview and I can make another one doing the actual mod review and overview inside of the game. Let me know. But I think that's what I'm going to do. You can download it here. I'm going to click download slice of life and there we go. It basically puts everything else in here. The personality types and the skincare system. That's really easy. I might as well show you guys how to install it as well. I'll give you guys a little download tutorial. Electronic arts, of course, The Sims 4 mods and I guess you can just put it in here. Does it already come inside of a slice of life? I think it might, but I'm going to make a new folder anyway and I'm going to call this slice. Oh my god, slive. Can you type slice of life? Why do I feel like I spelt it wrong? I'm so bad at this. This is not good. So drag the slice of life in here. You can extract and it's pretty much good to go, I think. Now keep in mind when you're placing Sims 4 script files in here, they can't be more than one folder deep. So you can place them inside your mods folder or inside of another subfolder. This is as deep as you can place these Sims 4 script files. If I were to put these inside of another folder here, let's say for example, 
have a party system, put them in here, they wouldn't work. Only package files can be read that deep with no issues. Please remember that. So they have to stay right here. But I think I'm gonna definitely do another video for the overview. Let me know if you want me to do it. If you don't, I won't do it. But if you do, let me know and I will do it for you. But I just can't do it all in one video because reading off the mod and everything that comes with it definitely took way too much time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it entertaining and informative. Oh God, I'm gonna sit up in my chair. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Add it to your favorites playlist. Subscribe, ring the bell, and leave a comment down below. You can also follow me on social media that includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitch, and more links are down below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see y'all next time. So long. Wee! And happy simming. Bye, guys.